Hello everyone, and welcome to the third movie in the Digimon series, which is the third part of Digimon the movie. That's the far easier thing to call it, because if you want to call it by its Japanese name, uh... <laughs> Digimon Hurricane Touchdown, Supreme Evolution, the Golden Digimentals. And pretty much from what you can tell from that kind of title, is it was a bunch of stories that kind of got thrown together and changed a lot, and it shows. This reveal will be full of a lot of spoilers about this, you know, 20 year old movie, so, you know. Yeah. You are warned in front of this. But, uh, and we will be going into the two different versions fairly separately in this one, because yes. the Japanese and what was put into the Digimon the movie is actually quite different. It was. We'll get into it when we get Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it when we get to that point. So, let us start with Hurricane Touchdown, blah, 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 blah. Japanese. Touchdown! And, yes. If there's no good iron football on this, I'm going to be disappointed. So, we start in a bright yellow okay. field. Yes. Then, yeah. And if you saw the last review, this is where the English movie ended. But we're doing the Japanese for now. We'll leave the English out yeah. of this. And so, yeah, it's a very young boy with two Digimon yes. running around with them. Gummymon and Kokomon, or Chocomon, as they call them. <laughs> yes. And the kid is speaking in English. Yes. Which is the Japanese version. <laughs> it caught me off guard. And it's a lot of generic, just let's have fun, let's run, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and apparently one of them goes missing. Chocomon, they keep asking, Where, where'd you go? Where and are there's you? There's some little rustles of the wind, like a mini tornado, uh, tornado kind of thing. And that's about it. Yeah, he's gone. And you can't find him. So... We don't really know any more about that at this point, and we skip ahead to the opening credits. <laughs> yep, to present day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which was 2002 at the time. <laughs> and we we see the new cast. The three of, new ones, yeah. Of O2. Be completely new. Yeah. They're on the beach beating up Upamon. I mean, playing volleyball oh, with him. He yeah. seems to be consenting. But yeah, he's, so he's okay, but I think yeah. that's about all these old Zero Two uh, Digimon are really good for is like being volleyball, so. Yeah. I yeah. prove. And Paramon's just trying to get a tan, and Chibimon is there. <laughs> and, and then we kind of cut the cameos of the original six. Yep, do, doing that, doing their thing. Taichi's doing soccer. Matt's Yamato mm -hmm. is playing guitar, playing guitar. Is sorting plants. It's, yep, going back out of mine. Yes, all of. Is he's on a cultural science computer, etc., etc. Et as you would expect. Yep. Then we cut the Mimi, who's with Takaru and Hikari. Yep. And they. They're off on their own somewhere. They're in New York. Know. Yes. I don't, I don't know when exactly we established that, but yeah. It established off. at some point this is New York. Yeah. They're they're off in New York. They're trying to take pictures to send to Daisuke to make him jealous and things like that. They're just trying to mess with him. And suddenly Mimi's Digivice starts going... Red. Kind of red, 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 yeah. Red and nuts. But Hikari and Takiro's, because they got the upgrade... You got the D3s, <laughs> The yes. D3s doesn't respond at all, it seems. And just very suddenly, Mimi disappears. Just is gone. And we cut back to the other people in the same place with the original six. Mm -hmm. Before. We see Joe disappear as well. And all of them are gone. We and then, yeah. all of them. And then after that, yeah. Whatever happens, they're gone. Mm -hmm. And then we... What happens? Don't know at this point. After pretty much me and Life during this cut, it's a switch to uh, Wendigo and Terrier Mod. Where oh. It's getting a little bit of a fight. Yes. With almost no sound. Yes, and a, a, a very, very little sound effect, very little music. And this will be a theme throughout all the fights in this one for whatever reason. Yeah, they they kind of did a little bit of what they did in the first adventure film, where there was not a lot of yeah. music and sound again. They just thought that was a good choice, apparently. And maybe it works over there. I don't, I don't get. I don't it. see how it would, but it barely know. does. Then we cut back yeah. to Kari and uh, Takiro, who are freaking out. Oh my God, maybe just. No, 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 they really just, just... Just kind of stand there and nonchalantly talk. Hikari asks if she got to the digital world, and Takiro's like, no, I think she went to a different world. Okay, why... Sure, they, they why, know why, this why, somehow. Why, why not? Yeah, they'll know this somehow. Yeah, that's a... That'll be a reoccurring thing. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, they're just so... Huh. That happened. Hikari gets a sense of the mother Digimon there's, around. And... There's a crying Digimon that is in pain or needs our help, and... Things like that, so... They run off to go find, find this it. guy, and they eventually do find... The battle between Gummymon and Kokomon. <laughs> yeah. 
as yes. Wallace keeps as, uh, the mysterious boy <laughs> keeps calling them. Yes, at no point does he ever do you ever ask about changing the name of Gummy Mon, despite the fact that he'll see at least four different names from one from somebody else later on. He'll never go to G Gummy Mon and say, "Hey, Gummy Mon, <laughs> you change your you change form too. Are you have a different name?" Nah, who cares about him? Actually, given the character, yeah, it might, it might be. But we can't <laughs> more that's the sad part. They're tearing up chunks of buildings. They're, I mean, it's a rookie fighting a champion. Terramon's not doing a terrible job, <laughs> yeah. but he's not really winning anything either. <laughs> nope. That when Hikari and uh, Takaru show up with their reinforcements. Yep. Finally, when the when the Gomon, which is what I'm going to call him. Yes. Because that's what form he's in. Yes. Even though he will always be called Kokomon. Yeah. The entire it makes sense. I can Kokomon. see why he won't get his name. Yeah. But we're going to come next to form he's in. And he just kind of disappears again to win. And says nothing the entire yeah. time. And and so they try to... They recognize that's a Digimon. Hey, kid, you know, what's up? Can we help? What's going on? And he just runs away. Can runs away. Yep. And Hikari says that something is awakening. What this thing is? I don't know. She doesn't seem to know. And she thought she heard Tai Chi's voice. Yes, in the wind or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I guess that means she knows that something bad happened to Taichi and Mimi now. And she's twice as distraught. Yeah. Well, she might be because zero times zero is... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And so, Patamon goes off stalking. Yeah, Patamon takes off. At least someone decides we should probably follow this kid. And yep. Learn a few things. Tries to figure out where he's going. Then we cut to... somewhere. Yeah. It's a fairly kind of muted rainbow void kind of... Yeah. At one point, area. I thought it was kind of like the Depression Dimension near the end of the venture, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty much just saying they're cold, they're blinded in here, they can't see, they can't even think straight. Just not a lot going on, they're just very confused, like the audience is. <laughs> like us, yes. Yeah. So they cut the pad on you drop them on this kid on the phone call. The most important thing he hears is something about a place called Summer... Summer, summer Memory. Summer Memory, yeah. Mm -hmm. And how that means anything to the rest of the group. I guess if they just looked it up online, I guess. I mean, this is 2002. I guess you can start yeah, looking you can do things that. up. <laughs> it's only that it remotely makes sense, so that's what I'm going with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it also... I don't know. Does Patamon know English? <laughs> that's a very valid point. Because this kid is talking in English. Yeah, they're in New York City. Could have been just a bunch of garble, and then somehow, because it's a proper name, it <laughs> stood out to him. I don't know. That's another weird thing about this yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> Of all the problems it has, I have not considered that one, but yep. that is a very valid point. Yep. And so... Anyway, we cut to the beach, and Daisuke is, got, is all excited about getting a message. From Hikari, yep. And it says, please save my brother. Because apparently she can't be bothered herself. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess Daisuke is closer to where <laughs> Taichi could have been <laughs> if he was there, but... I mean, I mean yeah. apparently that's the only thing it says. Which, it can't be right, because the way they respond out, it must say more, but that's the only thing you read out loud. Yeah. Or show about it, so it's just like... Okay. Yep. <laughs> that, that, that's so, just a random message. Please save my brother. Huh? Yeah. So now they got to figure out how to get to the States. <laughs> yes. Which for, you know, a bunch of kids, you know, not even yet quite in their teens, some of them. <laughs> yeah, I like could see this would be a problem. But... Yeah. So we get a, basically a lot of hitchhiking montages. Yeah, I don't even really know how to get the... On the plane to start. The initial plane to get to that, yeah. Across the pond there. Okay, across the ocean. And it just Somehow they manage. And it just seems like they're on the side of the road with the sign and eventually get on with some crazy driver that's swerving all over the <laughs> yeah. place. And <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I, I can see why some of this was changed. <laughs> <laughs> so then we cut oh, back so to uh, Wallace. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I believe or now. We'll, or we'll get it in this scene. I believe here is where we finally... Get Wallace's name, and we find and we learn that they're going to the flower field. Which yeah, I'm guessing it's a really bright thing from the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah. He's fairly yeah. honest. Going back to where Coco Mama's Choco Mama was lost, and and he is really cold. He's to Terry kind of, yeah, jerk to Terry in this scene. Yeah, he's very distant. Don't talk about that. Don't talk to me. Why did you attack yeah. Choco Mama? Yeah. He's blaming Terry Mama. Yeah. yeah, and moping in the corner and just blaming him. It's just like wow. Okay. Eventually, he gets off so, the train to try to find the phone. Mm -hmm. This is something they'll do quite a bit, for whatever reasons. Because, kids, this is before everyone had a cell phone. 
<laughs> there was these things called pay phones yeah. <laughs> that you may see in antique stores now. <laughs> they used to actually work. Yes. Except the money in them and the things. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, he doesn't have one, though. Apparently the other ones have some texting devices. So. And so they... then they're walking, then they're walking through the sun, and here month complains about how hot it is. And eventually he hops on, walks his head, he goes some shade, he complains about how heavy he is. Yeah, he just keeps complaining, doesn't he? And this whole scene just seems really slow moving. It doesn't seem to flow naturally. Yeah, it, 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 it's slow, it's not really... You think this would be like the bonding thing between them, to establish, yes, these are the partners, they're sticking together through the hard times, and it doesn't do that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> they're not really... That close of partners, it seems. They're more kind of at each other's throats. <laughs> some, some, sometimes like Jelly Mom can be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just it's whoa. Close. But not as fun. <laughs> no. Then we come but back to the car and talk through. We're now on a train. train. Off to Colorado. Colorado, I'm assuming. Yeah, they're trying to eventually that's where everybody. Eventually that's where summer memory is. Puzzling down Colorado somewhere. Yep. The exact one detail us, but... That's where it is. Moving on. Yeah, and so they're just they're just sitting there and you know kind of talk about it, trying to figure out you know what's what's going on, and suddenly we get a crazy light show. Yeah, and and purple and pinks, I guess. Yeah, everything. They're, now their D threes go off. They definitely react. They definitely react to this, and we see when Digomon's face, face. Coco, Chocomo, face again. But that server's solid. It doesn't seem like he's maybe he's there, there. maybe he's really not. Yeah. And again, the D3s are going crazy. It's hard. It's hard. And then suddenly the train starts Stop. slowing down and stops. And they get away from the crazy light show. And the two of them kind of roll backwards because he managed to get a train to stop in like a quarter of a mile. That's really impressive. It, yeah, it would knock you on your butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. The seats. But yeah. then they yeah, go, what the heck's going on? They explore the train some more. And no one else is there. Where'd the people go? They are never brought up again. So I'm going to assume he ate them all and they're all dead. And therefore, this gives the best, the highest body count of all adventures 0 2. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Got a lot of softies in 0 2s. <laughs> so. And 0 2. I'm pretty sure the... Picari mentions that they got to maybe find a bus now or something because they can't. Because <laughs> the train is stopped and um, they don't know how to operate it. <laughs> or it's locked or, you know, there's probably many reasons why you can't just walk in and <laughs> operate the train. <laughs> Yeah, again, with everybody disappearing, I don't think the train would be more out of control not stopping, but... Yeah. Maybe there's some kind of emergency brakes or... Gee, the conductor doesn't respond in X amount of time, so... I don't know, actually. Yeah. I'm not going to look up to it here. So, we go back to our the trio, who are in Denver now, after getting off a random plane. Yeah, how... Again, how they really got on there or whatever, don't know. Don't know if not that important, but... The only reason we even know... If it's from Denver, is they sent a message to Hikari, and she's mentioning it as the, as we yeah. fade away. That's Cody, because he's so important, his name is never actually given in the Japanese, Japanese version. version. Oh, it's, 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 there's oh, like yeah. 60 miles from Denver or something. Okay, yeah, thank you, Future Virgin. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Future Virgin. <laughs> oh, you have to edit this? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you have to look up some more zero through stuff, poor guy. Yeah. They're annoyed looking for their next one, and randomly, the dice guy yells something out loud and causes the truck to stop. And so uh, he kind of strikes the driver, the rest kind of open up the back and climb in. And, I mean, he seems to, like, wave at the driver. Like, the driver knows they're there. Yeah, the driver seems to be okay with him hopping in. So. Yeah. <laughs> Not literally sneaking in the back in the middle of the night or anything. And it just but, so happens. <laughs> at this point, I'm going, do you know where this truck's going? Yeah, because that's the only thing you ever ask. Nope. Never did. But by amazing coincidence, in the back of this truck is... Wallace and Gummy Mon. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? Yeah, and, and Chibi Mon, or Demi B Mon, is curious and sniffing at him. And Basuke tries to say that he's a space cat to <laughs> explain away why he looks so weird. And gee, the Digimon recognize another Digimon. Yeah, yeah. Chibi Mon says, Hey, it's a Digimon! Dum Dum. He doesn't <laughs> say Dum Dum, though I wish he did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we finally get everybody together. Get and... a good chunk of the group together, finally. Yes. And the trio, like, knows that this is the kid from. New York. I mean, I guess not that many people have Digimon, and you know, probably give the description of the kid. You know, he's got yeah. a Terry. He's got, he's got a bunny Digimon. He's got blonde hair. <laughs> See, he's still really blonde hair. Yeah. So it's not the weirdest thing to put two and two together. You know, I was totally okay with them randomly finding him inside the truck, but him knowing that was him. Ah, yeah. oh, you no, know, no, I can't accept that. Yeah. 
Anyway, mostly they, they get off. Yeah, and, and the Digimon seem to get along real well together. They, they're, they're just talking and everything, because, I mean, Terramon, it's been a while, probably, since he's had another Digimon to talk to, and the human he walks with is kind of a jerk. He's kind of a jerk. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a, that's a yeah he's probably great to find out from love and seeing other people. So it's, it's great for him. And we get to talking, and gee, we find out Wallace speaks Japanese. And the reason they give us his girlfriend, he had a girlfriend from Japan, and she taught him. Works for me. Yeah, yeah. Good enough reason. Be trusted, I appreciate that. that that's good. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, he speaks to them in Japanese. Actually, even to Terry Mon no, 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 Terry Mon in, in Japanese. Again, yeah. I understand why. Yeah, because it's a Japanese show. Oh, it makes sense, but it's just one of those oddities. So, because, yeah. you know, there wasn't enough people being jerked, Dice Dice is kind of a jerk to Wallace here. And we yeah. learned that he got his engine, his DJ was found on the internet when his mom was surfing, and she gave it to him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the egg just came out of the computer again, like the very first one? I think that happened, yeah, but... But in, in a moment, we'll see he has a Digivice. Yeah, no, this point, where, where, where'd that come from? Yeah, there's a very distinct lore to the Digivice in the Digimon Adventure universe, yeah. yeah. There's so, very few of them. Why yes. would he have one if the Digivice didn't even come out for him? Yeah. They find someone else to give him a ride. Yes. And uh, Cody and Miyako climb in back. Yep. And Wallace talks about needing to find a phone to call his mother. That guy makes fun of him. Um, the truck leaves the two behind. behind. And the other two just let and it happen. And Miyako wave and say, bye bye, see you later. See you in summer memory. Because apparently they're jerks too. Yep. Apparently yep. everybody is a jerk in this movie. Yeah, no, no, don't care about each other. They're, they're a great team. Apparently yeah. after that, we actually cut to another 01. Oh, yeah. This time they're younger now, looking like they did in the original Digimon Adventure. Adventure, yep. And they seem a little more energetic this time. Not that they really do anything, or they ever will. No, but... they, they they talk a little more. Don't really establish anything, but they, they, they do talk some here. And I see yeah, they're in Adventure clothes, trying to remind me of better seasons and better movies. Yep. Precisely. Then we cut back to Daisuke and Wallace, who aren't really doing a dang thing. Nope. And somewhere on the line, Terry Mom calls Wallace's mom fat. Yep. Because Thanks, because everybody's a jerk. Yep, yep. And then when Nikomon appears in the room sm- uh, again, and hopefully he'll carry everybody and we can move on to something else. Yes. Then somehow uh, Daisuke recognizes when Nikomon. How? I don't know. <laughs> There's I, no reason he'd recognize him. Again, you gotta be in the text. <laughs> the Maybe there. it's something to come. But that's the only, yeah, only, only cost way. explanation. Yeah. But he's pretty concerned about it. And he is quick to jump in and attack. Yep. He has to digivolve to Vimon, which, why they run around and in training forms, like most of this, a lot of this movie, I don't really know. Yeah, they keep getting knocked and popping back out and popping back down to in training form a lot in this movie. Yeah. But most of the season, it's like most seasons, they run around as rookies, not a child. Not, <laughs> yes. Not in training. But when Flangermon yep. does his attack, it looks like the space other world were now even younger O1 cast. Yeah. Can see the flames and like makes the whole area glow. So we're like inside of him? Oh, what? I don't... I, I still don't quite understand. I, I, think so, I would think that, but later we see a space that's inside of this Digimon, apparently, and it's not yeah. this. So I still don't know what this is or how it possibly connect to this deck. Yeah, but it does. But not somehow. As they're fighting, finally, uh, Terramon starts to, you know, look like he wants to, you know, help out. And Wallace's well, Digivice just goes off. Mm-hmm. And goes into a little bubble. Yes. Which I don't think I've ever seen Digivolving this way outside of this movie. Yes. <laughs> they just kind of go into a little sphere and, and pop out. They stretch in really odd angles and pop out with a new form. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. All right, works as okay. well as anything else, anyway. Logically speaking. And Tamers like, peel their whole skin off. And, yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's just, you <laughs> know. Tamers, it looks really painful to Digivolve. So, yeah, you know, whatever. And they continue to have a decent fight for, you know, another. <laughs> 30 seconds or so. Yep, and at some point, you know, Wallace is speaking to an Indigo Mon, and he refuses to believe that this is Wallace. Yeah, he says, you're not Wallace. You're not. Yeah. Doesn't seem to recognize him, doesn't wa- want to believe. Why exactly, I don't know, but... It doesn't look right, basically. Yeah. But during this fight, there's pretty more boring music and not any real dialogue, and eventually he leaves. Yep. And as he leaves, we cut back to the other world that the uh, old one cast, and now it's bright blue skies. Why? Who knows? Yep. 
And then we cut back to Lawless and Daisuke, who are really doing absolutely nothing, and Daisuke and Digimon run to a sign because they're... Yeah, yeah. They, they, they literally are just apparently trying to have fun or whatever, and <laughs> don't. No, no. Okay. And as after wasting this time, we realize that, hey, you know that blue guy? He's got a form of four legs that runs really fast. Yeah. Yes. So, so they finally uh, use the... Bring out Lydramon. Yeah. Bring out the digi, digi of friendship. And we hop on him, and they take off for a while, and other people see him run around. I guess it really doesn't matter. Again, because in this world, my oldest mom like, took over a city, so everybody should know about Digimon. Yeah. Even though Wallace earlier says, I didn't know there were Digimon in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, no, no, no idea. And at this point, we get like an intermission screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kids point them towards some memory because they ask, Where is that? And so the kids point them in the right direction. And yeah, we literally get like a commercial break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be continued. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Uh, sure. So here's your intermission. Go go refill your popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Go to the bathroom, pause the video. Go, go. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> yes. And it says, To be continued. Unfortunately, it is. Yeah. So they finally come running up, and the other two are already there, yeah. as they kind of said they would be. All four finally reach there. Yeah. Yep. They but, ask uh, Wallace a few questions. He doesn't get, they don't get too much from him. At this point, Terrier says that he knows that Chocomon wants to meet the younger Wallace. Somehow he knows this. Uh, yeah. Why, and why Wallace you... says they're going to, he wants to go to the flower field because he thinks it will help when Digomon because that's the last place he saw him. Sure. I okay. mean, that that logic, <laughs> I can understand. I'll buy that, yeah. So yeah. it makes sense why you want to go there. Mm -hmm. and, and then, hey, we get to do some more hitchhiking. In the back of a truck with some pigs now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For one last leg of the journey. So apparently Summer Mental Memories is not where the flower field is. No. we have to hitchhike to the last part. Yeah. Uh, and so they camp out for the night there. Yep. And this is the one point where Wallace will start to get off and wander away. But before he does, he actually does something nice for Terrier Mon here. Yeah, so I should put the coat on and make sure he's, you know... Make sure he's warm, warm in the cold night. So there is at least... There is one good thing he does for Terrier Mon here. So I figure i got to point this out. Yes. Because otherwise there's not a heck of a lot. He still doesn't know his... Still doesn't know his real name, but... Well, Miss Waller's on... Yeah, <laughs> his little guy said his name. I forgot his name, Terrier. Wonder Wonder, and Wallace wanders out of the darkness. Daisuke comes and talks to them. Mm. Then we see a reset at the beginning of the intro. Mm -hmm. And finally, he starts to really talk about that, yes, Chocomon is my partner. I have two. Yeah, the, the twin Digi eggs. Mm -hmm. um, and that, yeah, I don't really know what happened to him, but I, I know I can reach him. He's my partner. I have to stop him if it comes to that. <laughs> And and Daisuke reacts of fairly realistically of like yeah if Vimon went nuts you know what would I do is my, my don't partner think I could do anything yeah though so, given Wallace's personality to this point I don't think he you really would really have trouble <laughs> <laughs> from that much of things no <laughs> that's okay because O2 is all big softies eating like that you know I can see him having a problem with it but yeah, Daisuke break it down and crying just from the story sounds like Daisuke yeah yeah is there a bunch of <laughs> serious softies yeah. They don't know what exactly they're going to do, but they agree that they will help him. <laughs> yes. Well, Daisuke volunteers, though. Because <laughs> the others aren't there. But... And gee, Hikari and T Takuma are still nowhere to be seen yet. Yep, now it cuts up back to an even younger spot. No. Yep. Back to the other would go back to, uh, the, to the... Even younger, I mean, like below their... Like, even young, maybe even younger than TK and Hikari in the first Yeah, yeah. This is, this is like back when the original film ages. Maybe even younger than... The, yeah, the, around that kind of age, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. And Chocomon is there, bouncing around, calling for Wallace, Wallace, and looks at him all over and says, "Oh, no, you were for him." So we let him go now because he realizes he's not who they want. No. no. I and at some point in the past, Terrier says that you know, Chocomon apparently can grab anybody that has a digivice, like Wallace. Yeah, he's seeking everyone who has a digivice, and that's why how he grabbed and found them. But Wallace has the same type of digi dice. Yeah, the same type. He saw him use it when Cargomon came. Yeah. What is he, why didn't he grab him at some point? Because the plot says so. Yep. Have to keep the storyline moving. <laughs> so, we finally cut to them 
in the field. In a field. Doesn't look like the flower field. They're kind of on a cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're close enough to it, I guess. the dance group, so. And after standing around waiting for just probably a full minute or so, this movie does slow. It does move slowly. It's a slow pace movie. Finally, we see the footprints, and when Nigumon starts to <laughs> materialize there. And what's interesting is when he talks in this scene, it's actually the voice of both Wendigoman and Chokoman talking at the same time while we're laughing at each other. It's an interesting little effect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Wendigoman talks for a little bit, basically saying, I'm sorry, we can't go back. It's just not possible. Yeah. And he does not approve of this at all. No, he, he does not agree. He does not approve. He does not. He screams no at him. <laughs> no. Yeah, pretty much. And... This causes him to turn into Intilamon. Yeah. Skinnier bunny. Yeah, skinnier bunny form, bottom bunny, yeah. Because, again, you would never know the name of these Digimon unless yeah. you look. And at this point, we seem to keep, we keep saying that he's no longer Chokumon. He's black hearted. He doesn't care about anything. Why? When? <laughs> How? Yeah. So if he's not Chokumon, what is he? Yeah. No explanation given. But there's nothing else. What could it be if it's not him? Yeah. Just Digivolving. Well, actually, sometimes does kind of make you a different person with like dark evolutions and stuff. But now this is kind of really his line. This isn't, yeah, you this know. Yeah, this is very strange for him. <laughs> yeah. This and at this point, like Wallace that. basically says, Hey, Dice Kick, can we destroy him now? Well, apparently he's given up on him. Yeah, yeah, he's completely, <laughs> he's completely sold that, yeah. So we get a little bit, so uh, everybody kind of armor did you all see the standards. Yep. yep, we get our usual four, uh, three of those and Gargomon now. To, ready to fight. Yeah, and one real actual champion is the armor, too. Yep. And we have a fight where they don't do very well in Unfinished right. Music Plays. Yeah, it's still just this strange, kind of melancholy, slow. Very little sound effects on the attacks. Yeah. We walk along the walls, there's little rocks crumbling sound. I mean, you, I never would have think watching two large bunnies going with Gatling guns for arms, fighting each other would be boring. But somehow this is. Yeah. It's really odd. How can I just do that? And, and he's just, and he's so fast that it makes the animation look really choppy here. Because suddenly he's in Flame Flagermon's face, and then he's bouncing off a wall. <laughs> Flagermon's bouncing off the wall from the hit. And it's like, wait, wait what, what yeah, happened? Yeah, there seems like a lot of yeah, choppy here. Where it seems like somebody should be hit, but they've never shown being hit. Yeah. This happens quite a bit throughout the rest of the movie. It's like this is a rush project that got changed many times. Yeah. The animators had to do what they could. It didn't take a few shortcuts to get it done in time. Yeah. So, yeah, it, oh. it's the champions against an ultimate. It just, just, it's just... I mean, it's four partner Digimon versus an ultimate. They, they might be able to we'll do, do this at some point. Something, at least, yeah. But After getting smacked around a little bit, the Alkine will stand up and say, okay, we're ready to go another round. So, and Kilaman jumps into just the water. Sinks into the river at the bottom of the cliff. Canyon. Kind of deal. Comes back out, and it's Shurubimon Vice. Somehow. Yeah, how, how he went to Mega suddenly. Uh, Mega's usually a big deal here, people. It's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. And well, one thing, you're having trouble with his ultimate form. He's a Mega now. You guys are in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry, they'll just bring up Hyildramon. And... Where is Ken? How is this? <laughs> Where is Ken in this? Where does this fit in the story? In the arc of this? Uh, oh, okay, no, never mind. Um, so if it's still have Ken, it must be really early in the storyline, right? So they're really, really, really in trouble then. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, don't try to fit this in. <laughs> anyway. It doesn't seem is... like it fits in now. I'll wait till we wait till live long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he emits this black snow, they call it. Yeah. It looks a lot like Black Pearl Shots from Sayakuma. Black Pearl Shots, and it kind of, you know, I almost think like, you know, Black Gears kind of thing, because it looks like it's, you know, corrupting and splatting over things that it hits and stuff, and again, what is it? Uh, it's just kind of something he has, he does. He yeah, does kind of a different area effect of it. Knocks them all down, knocks them back into, yeah. well, in training I mean, and then in the rookie. Yeah, they're in training for about three seconds. Or two bounces, and then he... Underground and back to the rookie. I, I don't know why. Yeah. And then he does this kind of gravity thing with his hand, grabs them all, and starts juggling them. Which is funny beyond all. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just, he is just having fun. <laughs> He's so toying with them, it's not even funny yet. 
Yeah, it, it's it's just he has no fear of them, no respect or anything. Just yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> the guy throws him into the cliff. They all talk a big game, come out again, get beat down again, and then the holy Digimon arrive and actually Fun. do something. Yes, finally, there's a blast from off screen as Anjumon and Anjumon have finally arrived to help out. And gee, they're the holy Digimon again, something that seems very virus laden at this yeah, point. Very evil virus type. And he has very strong regenerative capabilities, apparently. But they blast his arm off. Yeah. They, they really just <laughs> take him completely. <laughs> and Hikari comes in and says, This is not the crying Digimon. Digimon. Yeah, so once again, who, what is it? Who is, is it? this? Who is it? How is it? Yeah. What did it, how did it get here? What did it do to the crying Digimon? Yeah. Unclear. <laughs> yeah, at this point, the, the angel of text is enough that he kind of dissolves. Good! We, yeah, we yeah. Won. yeah. Well, movie's over. All right, let's move on. No. No, no, then no. he kind of comes back and he manages to manipulate the world oh. somehow. Bring everyone into the kind of sort of... Makari knows that he did this somehow. Yeah. It's like he kind of sort of brings them into the world that the original cast was in, but they're not here. So it's not, <laughs> not that one. Not that one, but... Yeah, then he reforms and he rewinds time somehow. Oh. Yeah, so even the new cast is starting to get younger. As... And at one point, Wallace gets young enough that he'd recognize them, but he doesn't care, so why is he rewinding <laughs> time? Yeah, if this, was, if this was his entire goal was to see the young Wallace, he succeeds. He will succeed at some point around here, yeah. But this changes nothing. It changes nothing. Yeah, but he succeeded. Okay. Right. Cool. Yay. So Anjo and Fumon and Anjuman have this conversation about, well, this is really bad. We should like go to Megas now. Yeah, and hopefully something good will happen. Yeah, I think something good will happen. Wait, time out. <laughs> you got what? You you can do that? You wait? Huh? Yeah. When I ask the Kari and Takaru if they can, they say, yeah, sure, do that. So they Digimon to Sharathimon and Holdermon. Somehow. How? When? When did this become a thing? I mean, what? it's a fairly big deal. Maybe you could make this that, but it seems like the, no. I, yeah. I mean, after afterward, at least Takuro and Hikari go, "Wow, that, that it really happened." You know, at least they seem surprised that it happened. But the Digimon just seemed like, yeah, <laughs> yeah just did okay. We'll, we'll do it. Yeah. So okay, they were doing really good as a champion ultimate. Now two mangas, they're probably gonna really kick this thing's butt. No, they decide that they're going to use their holy power to summon golden elementals somehow. Which, I mean, is the Digi of miracles? I mean, you know, so they want a miracle to happen. I mean, sure, but how? What? Since when have they been in charge of that? And <laughs> just kind of found them in <laughs> the original in the season. <laughs> it's kind of there. Uh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, they're, they're they're mega for about thirty seconds. Yeah. And then get slapped and no longer mega. Yeah, mental shootout to Waris. <laughs> As he pronounces the the first time. <laughs> the nice guy. Yeah. Totally two people I want to chase trust over. Yeah. And apparently they know how to activate them. And they do. And they get Ming Mingjermon and Rapidmon Gold. Yeah, because. Because, well, Rapidmon is already a thing, so you can yeah. distinguish which is the gold version. Which is the armored Digimon version. Uh, I hope, hopefully he's a lot stronger than Rapidmon. Yeah. And so they start blasting away at him and seem to be doing a pretty good job again. I mean, Almost just, as good as the Angel. Yeah, yeah it's good. Not, not quite as good. Close. Yeah. Though, so, uh, they practically blow his head off. Yeah, that is pretty much. It's like, uh, oh. So the arms he got off in the head, so all right, I'll give you that. Give you that. Mm-hmm. Though, as the head reforms, suddenly, even while it's detached, it leaps up and <laughs> swallows both of them. That is kind of cool. It is, whoa. It's kind of freaky and weird, but I, I like that. It's cool, as, and, then, and then it starts to reattach. It's like, well, wow, okay. So, so then we'll see the we'll see Rapidmon and Mingmajimon. Not that you would know these names from, yeah, from the movie. No. You know, yet another strange sub-world dimension thing somewhere. They seem, they seem like the original cast was weak and. So it seems like it's that place, but the getting... original cast isn't there. Yeah. No. So where are they? Yeah. Is it the same place? I, I 
I don't know. <laughs> I wish we could tell you. Yeah, I wish I could tell you for sure. Back outside, everybody's talking about the big storm again. And I don't know. Got them on talking about how she kept looking for her Kyrie and that coward faith. And, and to be fair, this group, this is probably the most determined I've ever seen Zero to. Yeah, it's not a bad moment. They, they do talk it up and they do keep on coming back at them. And this is an interesting little thing is when they come at them, led by the really the most powerful one being uh, Ringless Gatamon. They kind of come yeah. at them when you have the still shot, and then it has Truby Bond's arm come through, like smash that plane in glass, like a shield shot. And I kind of like the effect. I, mean, yeah. I know it's totally cheap and not to save on animation and time. It's a cool effect to do that. Yeah. And Gatamon looks broken in half. Yeah, they come back and oh. beat up really bad. Gatamon in particular looks really bad here. Oh, yeah, no, they. It's some of the most roughed up you'll see Digimon here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, 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 up again, but at some point it's, take your losses and run, people. Yeah. But, the, I mean, talking... at this point, because, I mean, some of them are attacking them as an, in training, as a Mega. You're getting hit by a Mega, and they're still not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Delete it. Delete it, yeah. They should be by this point, I'm sorry. Yeah. And But their voices reach out to the two that are... <laughs> When they're and, giving their pep talk at the beginning. Uh, inside. And, and now they finally got enough energy to get up and look around. They can snap out of it. They remember what they're yeah. there for. And they see Shokomon's ghost? Wendigamon. Yeah, I thought he was gone for good forever. Yeah, Wendigamon, yeah. He's not talking, but he points at himself. And these two assume that means we must, he must want us to attack him. So they blow the <laughs> snot out of him. <laughs> yeah. No real hesitation. No, don't think about it real hard. <laughs> Go for it. And that seems to do the trick. Yep, by destroying the good part of him, the part that was still Chokomon, it changes him back into Jerubimon good. Good. So the part that wasn't him is still there, but he's good now. So Chokomon was evil and all along? <laughs> yeah, obviously. And then he dissolves for good. After good it, for it gets deleted, seconds. yeah. <laughs> so what happened there? Oh, Vimon and Terrymon are okay. Who? Oh, sorry, Gummy Mon. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just come, they just come flying out. And say how Chokomon laughed in the end. Is it just like, smiled and laughed? Yeah. Uh, what? Then we had, I don't know, a bridge somewhere, somewhere yeah. And finally, Daisuke says, "Yeah, Tai Chi and the others are fine. Good." I, I guess they emailed him or something to tell him because. I don't where did they come out? Of, where did they come out of this dimension even at? The same yeah. place? Did they come out together? Uh, yeah. I assume they're back to their original ages? Yeah, yeah. That'd be all the weirder. Yeah. What do we see about them? And so, yeah, we, we get a final little talk with Wallace saying that, you know, he'll come to Japan at some point. And... But considering he's an uncanonical character, no, he won't. <laughs> yeah, we'll never hear of him again. And in Dice Scan Lace things up, I'm sure you'll see Chocomon again someday. Then another yep. cutscene, he's on another payphone talking to Mama again. Yep. And we hear some waves, we see a uh, Digitama. Yep. Now, why it's not forming in the primary village, who knows? But, I mean, it's always, if it's your partner, Digimon, they are tied to you. It has happened before that it doesn't appear in the village. Yeah, but that thing appeared literally right next to him. Yes. It is still unusual that it would be there. So, and then it's Terry or Mon. Or Gummy Mon. While it's running along the beach, I'm guessing going towards the Digitama, though they've never shown actually picking yeah. it up. They're running away from it. Ah, no, not again! No, no, no. And thankfully, it is. Yeah. And just, it is such a mess of a movie. Oh, it's it slow. That final fight is like 25 minutes where it really doesn't have that much happening to, to, no there's a lot long. of talk a big day big game run into Rubimon <laughs> talk smoked. a big game run into Rubimon get smote yeah <laughs> smote smote whatever <laughs> you wanna just slap it around yeah, yeah I was glad to be done I mean I'm going to perseverance some credit like I said they usually don't have a lot so give them that but at some point yeah you should be losing Digimon yeah I got a lot of, I don't know so is Kokomon fighting something is there another part of yeah. him somehow? Does he have a damaged Digicore? He's got a little personality? Yeah. It, it's never brought up, really. Or Again, discussed. And he gets what he wants, supposedly, of a younger Wallace at some point, but he doesn't care, so what was the point of all of this? Yeah. 
Why was the original cast involved in this in any way? Yeah, they accomplished nothing. And yeah. I guess to give a reason to make him go all the way to the USA, which otherwise he might be more hesitant to do so, but... Yeah. Well, again, to be fair, in the last, uh, the most recent, uh, Digicon, we actually got to talk to one of the writers of this one. And, yeah, she she helped tell us that, yeah, their, their, their script was pretty much approved and ready to go, and then it got changed on them. Yeah. They were told there wasn't enough action for a summer film. Yeah, now, to be fair, if this is the action-packed version, version of their story, I... What was their original? Yeah, yeah. Because this thing is slow at times. Yes. But it always stinks to see the, you know, the studio underwriter not be able to see die die. Yeah. I mean, I understand both, both sides at times. You can only go so far in the studio, but usually if you okay a script, you really, it's a cool thing to say no afterwards. Yeah. Something, so. Yeah, it looks like it ran through a lot of quick revises, trying to keep some ideas you like at the beginning. And probably a lot of changes directed to the animation crew. So, that, that's the Japanese version. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for <laughs> watching us talk about this one. I, if you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more Digimon content from us. And as always, everyone, remember to be awesome. Until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.